working on getting the wiring harness out of this truck and guess what I found? What? More wire nuts. What a f Oh, jeez. All right, got a little bit done. Taking all the wiring harness apart, got all that stuff cleaned up on the back side of the firewall, and more wires over here. Got wires for days. I'm going to go through and cut out whatever we don't need. Um, putting in a 318, don't need half the stuff that all that wiring harness goes to, so we'll clean it all up, make it look pretty. Exhaust, still haven't gotten that out. We'll cut that out later. But uh, I'm going to go inside and tear the dash out because I need to know where all these wires go. I'll be back in a little while. Remember this wire that we found? And I said it goes underneath the dash. Okay, I found it. It's actually tied in to the light on the cigarette lighter. Or, I'm sorry, on the ashtray. No clue. But here's another one for you. Pull the stereo out. And, you know, standard wires back here. What is that? It's just taped to the side of the radio. More fun stuff. It keeps getting better. I even got wire nuts. Imagine that. All right, the dash is out. What a mess. There's a dash. All right, so dash is gone. AC box is gone. I left the heater box in there. Haven't played with that yet. Uh, no more wiring harness. It is all gone. So here's the main wiring harness. And, you know, it just, I think the guy that, that had this truck used to be an electrician. Look at this. We got another wire nut. Had to have been an electrician. Out here in the engine bay, I got all the wiring that's coming out. Out. She's all nice and clean now. And here's the other wiring harness for that side. We'll go through all of it, cut out what we don't need. And there's a hole for a 318. Stay tuned.